Hi everyone, happy Sunday. Here's a project share that I'm going to share with you how to create. Um, this is a matchbook embellishment flip book and I used a small jump ring for the binding and then I added some trims and some fibers and a charm from Hobby Lobby. I love this charm right here, this little swan. And so you can see it's the shape of a matchbook and this size is designed to hold a 3x4 bag. And the paper collection that I used is Maggie Holmes Chasing Dreams. This is a 12x12 um, paper pad I found it Tuesday morning. And the embellishments are from you know, just a variety of different crepe paper, chipboard adhesive stickers that I have. And when you open it up, is inside your embellishment. So it's a fun way to send some snail mail or, or gift to a crafty friend. Here's the second one. And I layered it with a rosette. Um, again, this is from um, Maggie Holmes. I, this is from the Wild Heart collection. And when you open it up, some more of those pretty rosettes. And then the last one, I did some layering here. And then when you open it up, these are some butterfly die cuts. It's from this pretty die I shared on my Instagram from Tuesday Morning by Cutter B. Makes these really pretty butterflies. I made, um, I pre-made a bunch of them to have on hand using my scraps of all my crepe paper and Maggie Holmes design paper. And I just put in this cute little crate. And it's fun to have um, available. And then you can use it to embellish your stuff. Okay, so let me show you just how to make it. I'm only going to make one of the matchbooks. And then you can add however many you want. Um, here I just have three. So let me show you. So basically, um, it's three and a half inches wide by 12 inches in height. So you basically, if you take three 12 by 12 sheets, you can make three sets of these. Or if you just wanna use one design paper, you can make one set, okay? So let's cut this at three and a half inches wide. It's a really simple measurements. So again, it's three and a half by 12, okay? Really simple. Then you're gonna take your scoreboard and on the 12 inch side, we're gonna score it one inch. This is being the bottom, so just keep in mind the direction of the paper. So if it's, you know, you don't want it to be upside down. It depends on how you want it to look. So that looks, that looks good. So I'll make this the bottom. So this is one inch. Then you're gonna next score at six and a quarter six and three quarters, and then seven and a quarter. And that's all you need to do. And then you need your tiny attacher or any stapler that you have, because we're gonna staple. So go ahead and fold in those scored lines. This one gets the middle line gets folded in half, like so. And then um, you don't have to um, score, I mean, fold these scored lines, okay? Because um, you're going to adhere these, this together. So, first, you're going to take your hole punch, because we have to punch the hole for the ring to go through. So, we're going to punch at the top left hand corner. This is a 1 8 circle punch. Just punch a hole there. And then you're going to add your jump ring. So before we do that, you want to add adhesive right here. So let's just take, just take some glue here. I'm using this fine line applicator. I'm just going to add my glue. So adhere that together. And then you can use, you know, your jump ring. 
So I'm just using this small jump ring right here. And then you can add all your trims and your other matchbooks in this jump ring, okay? And then next, what you want to do, you'll notice that it doesn't go all the way down because we want to take our stapler and staple. So you want to staple like right in the middle of the center. And then you put your matchbook in, and there you go. And then once you do that, you just flip this back, that score line is, and then you add your embellishment pack. So I have one here. Um, this is, again, the 3 by 4 bags. I buy them in a pack online. Um, again, either eBay, or Etsy, you can buy these lots of places, or your local craft store if they have it. And then um, this gold paper is from a Maggie Holmes Christmas packet that I bought. I think it's the Merry Days. And then these are just some tubes. I've used these in my videos before. And I'll put that video link down below so it has the link of where I bought these. And then I just filled it in with some star sequence, some little pink tiny pom-poms from Daiso and then these white sequins from Tuesday morning. And then you want, of course, the closure to be on the bottom, and you're just gonna add some tape on the top. So let's do that. I just need some red line tape here. This is a 1 8 double-sided red line tape. Just add a little strip there on top. And then let's cut that. Now you can create any size matchbook um, as you want. Of course you want to base it off of the bag, the size of the clear bag. So this measurement was based off of the 3x4 clear bags. Okay, this is not peeling off right. There we go. Okay, and then you're going to just place it like right underneath, like so. And then you just close this, and then you embellish the front however you want. And then you got yourself a cute little matchbook embellishment flip book that you can send out for some happy mail. All right, hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching. Bye.